Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Electric Bunny or Bunny for short. How are you guys doing today? I'm so happy you guys are here and watching my new video. Sorry, it has taken way too long. Um, I had a lot of things uh, happen and uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm trying to get back on track for you guys. I promise. Oh my gosh. I was really hoping for this year just to be much better, but <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, so for today's video, I have decided to work on one of my favorite Honkai Star Rail characters. Since I am a huge fan of the game, uh, I am making a March 7th. Uh, my original goal was to have March 7th ready by, well, March 7th, since that is her birthday, but, uh, that did not happen and I didn't have time to work on her and... Well, but that's okay, because this month uh, makes the one year anniversary for Honkai Star Rail. So my goal this month is to make two other dolls that are Honkai Star Rail related, and I hope you guys are really looking forward to them and this one as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about March 7th. So for you guys who don't know, uh, this is March 7th. This is what she looks like. Uh, I happen to think she's very cute and I love her pink hair and I just love her outfit in general. <laughs> she's... I like that she's like, you know, just very full of life and uh, very cute and bubbly. You know, she's very cute. I love her so much. <laughs> um, also, she has like a really interesting story, I feel like, and I really hope they do like touch more on to, on the story because like so she was found in like encased in ice and she doesn't have any like memory from before that once they found her and they found her on March 7th which this is why her name is March 7th so um the briefly in her story they did talk about she was trying to figure out her past uh but stuff kept uh, getting in the way of the story and like saying no you don't need to know just keep going do what you do basically but I would personally like to know more about her and I hope we do get to like eventually touch base on her story later on so but yes this is her here's a full good like 360 of this cutie right here I'm like in the game showing her off for you guys because I'm gonna play some Star Rail later. She's so cute. I, I love her. <laughs> All right, so now let's go ahead and let's start making the dolly doll. So to start off with March 7th, I am going to go ahead and do the wig first. Uh, I have made the wig cap using a leftover nylon, like stretchy nylon, like pantyhose that I just don't use or they just kind of ripped and you know what they're perfect for doll wig caps why not um <laughs> I used uh three layers of tacky glue to make the wig cap and now I am gluing on some pink wefts that I made off camera and I'm just going to glue my wefts in a circular pattern around the wig cap and I like to overlap my wefts a little bit that way there is no gaps in between I guess not in between but on the wig itself so I know sometimes if I don't place them just right it kind of makes like a gap we don't want gaps no gaps so I like to overlap them I don't know if anyone else does that but I, I kind of figured that would help a little bit there and that way it looks more cooler the wig looks full. We want the, the wig to look full. And we're, I'm just going to close up the wig here and then we can start making the parts of the, or the wig. So for um, my wefts that I use for the uh, part, I place them in the middle of the wig and then hold them down real good and kind of easily uh, flip them over so they could dry 
also with my webs I for that I use for parts I like to um, kind of round them off at the edges there as you can see in the video uh, that kind of helps uh, like not show the weft glue as much or like the weft it kind of hides the weft better so it looks a little more seamless uh, I, something I've started doing that I noticed that kind of helps I don't know if that'll help anybody else but that's what I've been doing I think it looks pretty good and you kind of don't really see the weft as much on the part I've always had an issue with that especially making parts and this is how the wig looks after I style it I just kind of cut it a little shorter and styled the bangs a little bit and left some long pieces on the side because that's how her hair is and now let's move on to the shoes so this is the first pair of shoes I have ever made and I'm surprised they turned out okay <laughs> so uh, I have two pieces of faux leather that I sewed in the middle and I am using uh, some really thin foam as the sole part of the shoe now this Loctite vinyl fabric glue literally saved my life for this project uh, I could not get anything else to stick to the foam but or with the faux leather and the foam to stick together so that really worked out for me I used a little bit uh, on a toothpick and kind of spread that onto the foam and to hold the leather in place so it dries um, I use uh, sewing clips those have been very helpful in this whole entire project <laughs> I used them a lot in this project because there's a lot of things I had to use that glue to hold every the leather stuff in place so I highly recommend the glue if you're using faux leather uh, so now for her boots she has uh, these little uh, blue pieces on the sides and she has like a little one on the back so I'm going to glue the, the fabric to the shoe using the vinyl glue and then I will sew up the shoe in the back and add the blue piece and now we can add the base of the shoe that I 3d printed onto the bottom of the shoe <laughs> uh, I'm using super glue to glue it on uh, so I had to redo this and struggle to get the shoe base off because I accidentally glued it on crooked so be careful when you glue your shoe bases on and here I thought the shoe for her for some reason I don't know why I thought it was brown I should know this since I played the game a lot but I, I thought her shoes were light brown but they're not uh, so I'm gonna go and add all the accessories that I 3d printed she's got a little thing in the front she's got purple straps on the front of the shoes and then she's got these little flowers or ribbons and the little same diamond piece on the front is also in the back as well but here I am realizing oh no I painted the shoes the wrong color so magically it's fixed I painted them black <laughs> not really magic but I made it look like magic so now we can move on to the skirt I'm using a cotton material to do the skirt this is the DG Requiem school pattern I'll leave all my patterns and supplies down below for you guys uh, her skirt has two stripes so I ironed on some vinyl to the bottom and I uh, made pleats and hemmed up the top and now we're going to add the waistband so, uh, sew the waistband on the front and then flip it over and sew it on to the back and voila we have a skirt and for the bottom or for the back I am just going to sew up a little bit on the back side and then add a snap to the waist and once we're done done with that I've added some crystals uh, using some super glue to her skirt because her skirt does have little crystals on them I did start with two and I did have to add a third one because her like belt over skirt piece covered the two that I already glued on so I added one more later on and now for her shirt so this shirt is a smart doll pattern by motivation I just uh, scaled it down I right sides together sewed the shoulders and the darts on the blouse and now we're gonna do a gathering stitch on the top of the sleeve and on the bottom of the sleeve as well 
and off camera I added a cuff to the bottom and her shirt she has a blue stripe on the cuff so I glued that onto cuff a piece of ribbon that's blue and right sides together after I gather this other sleeve uh, or after I gather the sleeve right sides together I'll sew the sleeve to the blouse and then we'll sew the sides up and then voila we could put on the collar which I had to do twice because the other this one here I did was weird it didn't look right and the angle was angle was wrong so I had to redo it and so her shirt she has like a collar with uh, straps that connect to the shirt so using some faux leather and these itty bitty magnets I'm gonna glue the magnets onto the collar piece and then we can make straps to attach that to the shirt and I'll just use a little bit of glue to glue the straps on the inside of the shirt on both sides here also I added her little decorations on her shirt and uh, choker off camera so just add some little glue just a little bit no not a lot of it just a little bit and try not to stick myself to it because I do that a lot a kind of super glue related project I always stick myself to things and a little bit of glue to that and then voila we have the collar attached to the straps attached to the shirt and now for her belt so I did my best to kind of match the shapes uh, to what the character has and I just sewed all these pieces to the waistband and then for this one piece there's gold on the bottom so I just painted it gold and here is the belt piece with all the accessories that I added onto it, which is a bunch of straps, a little keychain looking ribbon piece, and her trailblazer brooch and camera. Now for the jacket. This was took me a little bit to figure out how to do. So I'm only going to sew a little bit on the upper part of the uh, arm because her jacket is only um, three quarters long on the sleeves and it also falls down underneath the shoulders a little bit and for the other part we're gonna just sew up the side a little bit so after I sewed that I place a doll or place the jacket on the doll and kind of measure out how far I want the jacket to hang off the shoulders and then I hem that and the jacket was a bit too long so we're gonna hem uh, the bottom of the jacket to be more cropped and then trim excess and also the same with the sides it came in way too much so we're gonna bring them in and uh, trim off the excess and for the sleeves I trimmed them up and to hem them I used some uhu glue and sewing clips the sewing clips have been my best friend throughout this whole entire project <laughs> I had to use so much glue on everything <laughs> to get things to work right and not be bulky um, and so her jacket does tie in the front so I made some little triangle pieces and I'm just gonna sew those to the bottom of the jacket that way her jacket can actually tie in the front and I sewed on a collar piece on the top and some ribbons on the shoulders. Her collar piece is kind of like bluish pink purple colors going on so I thought this fabric would look good for that. Plus it's shiny. And she has little studs on the front of her jacket so we're just going to glue those on. Glue the jacket using some studs also sticking myself to the jacket as well it's part of the process guys part of the process and she has one of the little flower things on the front of her shirt so we're just, I 3d printed a bunch of these and painted them and we're just gonna glue them onto her jacket and uh, her shoe her shoes also got them as well but I already mentioned that and on the front of her jacket she has like a little ribbon with a stud so we're gonna add that on as well 
I will say these uh Honkai Star Rail characters have a lot of detail. So this this is why I feel like it took so long. So I had to like figure out how to get all the details to look as good as possible. <laughs> There's definitely a lot, a lot of stress. I hope you guys like her at the end. Now on the back, I pre-glued the bow and the flower piece that she has on the back. And she also has like a sailor collar. So I um cut up some little triangles with blue satin and added a blue ribbon for trim and we're going to just glue those onto the jacket folding the trying the sailor triangles over on the back side of the jacket and here is how she looks so far here are the shoes all done uh, I made her thigh piece on off, off camera it's just some white fabric and her little flower piece and the black leather Here's her skirt and like belt piece of all her accessories. Um, I add some extra things to the sleeves, like the she had like extra like cuff things and ribbons. I just glued on with some white fabric. And she has a glove on one side of her hand, so I just painted her hands to look like she has gloves on the one side. And here's how the jacket looks in the back. And so for the jacket to attach to the shirt so it wouldn't like fall off or look weird, I had to glue tiny magnets to the front of the shirt and the jacket. And here is how her eyes look. They're pink gradient to blue. And now we can start the face. So for her makeup, I really want her to have like a very soft look since March 7th is very, uh, I would say she has like a very soft look overall. She's very girly. Her makeup's not very dark. So um, I'm using a lot a light pink pastel for her eyes, her lips, and her cheeks. Um, and when we go to do the shading, I don't use very dark colors around her eyes except for her liner. And that's about it. Because I wanted to keep it not 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 just didn't want to make it dark like sometimes i could i usually like a lot of dark shadow around the eyes but i was trying not to do that for her <laughs> i was trying to resist the urge to make goth march uh for her eyebrows i'm using a light brown uh at first because i did have this is the second time i had to do her face so uh the first time i thought her eyebrows were pink they are not pink they are brown so we're going to use a light brown first to shade out her eyebrows and then darken them up with a darker brown for her eyebrows. And now moving on to the eyes, I wanted to make them a little smoky, but not a lot of smoky, just a little bit, just like add some definition, I guess, to the eyes, a little drama, if you will. So I just used the dark brown just to kind of shade around the outer corner of the eye and the lower lash line. That way it looks like she has shadows where her eyelashes are. That was the goal. And now for my favorite part, because if you notice this mold, a uh, face mold that I have that my partner made me, has an open smile. But there's little teethies inside there. So I have to ever so carefully paint her teeth. Uh, this is definitely very sped up. I know it probably doesn't look sped up, but it is. I was going very slow to paint her tiny teeth because they're very small and dainty. I was trying to very carefully paint them and not get the white paint on anything else. Ever so slowly. Pink. I really like the face mold though. I love the open uh, smile face mold. I think it's one of my favorites. Besides the fangy one. And now using a dark brown pencil, I'm sketching out her wing eyeliner that I'm going to give her. And I wish anytime I do wing eyeliner, I could get them to look the same on each side, just right off the back, but I can't. 
I wish I could just snap my fingers and it would do it automatically, but no. So this definitely took a while just to get her wing line, her winged eyeliner to like match up. So like I made this side really small and I made the other side big and then I had to keep going. Next thing you know, she's going to look like a raccoon. Just kidding. <laughs> and now using a uh, brown acrylic is the black. I normally use black, but uh, I thought brown, a dark brown acrylic would work better for her eyelashes. So that's what I'm using for her bottom eyelashes. It's the dark brown. And ever so slowly and carefully painting them on. So I feel like I'm getting a little more confident in painting on eyelashes. Um, I used to like try to sketch them out with a pencil first, but I feel like that kind of makes them look too chunky-ish maybe, I don't know. So I just slowly started like practicing trying to just paint them on first. Uh, if you want to not use acrylic paint, you could use uh, the gouache paint because that's easier to remove than acrylic if you want to try it out first and see if you like your eyelashes. So that way if you mess up, you could just easily remove it. Acrylic paint is not as easy. But um, I didn't know where my gouache paint was or I probably would have used that first, <laughs> just in case. Um, and now for the, I'm just painting the black eyeliner on the top of the lid there. And to add some extra shinies to her eyelids, I am using nail polish to add glitter to her upper eyelid uh, because it's something that I could use and not have to spray. So I don't have to worry about the shinies going away because you know when sometimes you spray with MSC, uh, it dulls down. So I figured... Uh, that's pretty durable so and now after this will be it for her face and we can move on for the pictures Alright you guys, I hope you really liked the video. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think about my March 7 custom. Um, I really like making her and I really like the that it was something I could spend a lot of time on with, uh, making a bunch of different little details here and there that makes her her. Uh, I kind of was thinking going into this, I was like, I got this. This is going to be easy. No. <laughs> I just like kept forgetting little things here and there. I was like, oh no, wait, no, she needs this and she needs that. Oh no. <laughs> um, but I really hope you enjoyed her. Let me know what you think about her and uh, make sure you come subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I have my next video up for you guys. And also don't forget to come follow me on Twitch. Um, I'll link that down below for you guys. I am on every evening of Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sundays. I will be on tonight so make sure you come out and hang out with us we have a lot of fun and uh yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful day and a good weekend and have a good week coming up all right you guys i love you thank you so much and also thank you for helping me get to 5k i really appreciate it so much from the bottom of my heart and i'm so happy <laughs> i've been working on it for so long um, but yeah, I, I started the giveaway dolls for you guys, so I hope you guys are very excited. I will try to get them quickly done. Uh, I have... Took me forever to kind of figure out what I wanted to do. Theme-wise, but I think I have a good theme. And I hope you guys like them. So, alright. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!